<sighs> that was really, really. Hold on. So that was dumb. Um, yeah, COVID-19 is real. And I took a really big chance. It's not thinking, mm. but I have got a lot accomplished lately. I'll update you. I left the house without my mask, zero failure with this mask, in that it's never broken. One of these masks that have these little glue tabs on it and when this gets pulled too hard, it rips. I left the house with this mask on. Now I wasn't thinking and I ended up getting really close to a total stranger who also didn't have a mask on, but I don't know where my mind was once this broke and I was out and about, I just lost it. And um, wasn't paying attention. And before I knew it, we were within six feet of one another, having a conversation, although a brief conversation. Um, then we shook hands, and as I went to shake the person's hand, they said, oh, we're not supposed to be doing this. Ricky! And I was like, why didn't you say this before you ran up on me? Like, obviously I'm not in my right mind if I let you run up on me because I don't let people run up on me during this time. <laughs> I'm just joking. But uh, really boneheaded move. We do have people that live in our home who are at higher risk and have other health conditions. And so we've been really cautious for 23 weeks. I haven't been exposed to many people small really small groups of people a little bit at a time but we've basically been locked down and I always wear a mask um and I just had a brain fart um yeah and so when I came back home I I went into solitary confinement for 14 15 almost 20 days um, I mean, it was cool. Like people brought me food, left at the door, knocked like room service. And so I am so glad that after my time in the hole, I had no symptoms. Uh, I didn't have to go and get the test where they stick that stick so far up your nose that I'm sure it scratches the very core of your soul. I'm s see, I almost passed out thinking about it. I'm so glad that I didn't have to take that test. And I praise God that it was not more serious. Like I really felt so stupid that I've been doing everything that I can to keep my family safe by not exposing myself and bringing it to them. Yeah, just a lapse in judgment. And I'm glad that it didn't turn out worse because I know quite a few, like I know a lot of people. Some people like, I don't know anybody. I know a lot of people who've contracted it um, some have been asymptomatic, others have passed away, and even those who have recovered, I know a, a, a certain amount of people who even recovered, who are going to be dealing with health issues for the rest of their life. I mean, some serious things going on with this, uh, with this disease. And so I'm just grateful that it wasn't worse. I'm grateful. I say all that say I'm blessed. And I know maybe some people who are watching this uh, may not, may have family members who have passed. Listen, my condolences on that. Um, I get so frustrated watching the tickers and people talking about how the vast majority of people get over it. But what people aren't realizing is there are people that they're not being sensitive to who have loved ones who is that statistic in the counter. And even though it's a small percentage of people who die, there's also loved ones who recover, but they are ha they have a long fight ahead of them. Like I personally know people who are in the uh, ICU for three, four months and still aren't right yet. And so if you don't want to wear a mask, uh, I mean, that's your personal thing. Uh, I know some people are locking down certain places you can't go with a mask or whatever. Uh, and I won't get on here and say because I do that I'm morally better. I won't, I, I won't even get into that. I'm just saying be sensitive to the people who are dying because the stats that people are quoting make it seem very flippant and very calloused that people are dying um, because 
life is valuable. Life is precious. This channel is about uh, just sharing the goodness of God. And those people who are passing away are made in the image of God. And so let's not forget that when we stand on our political soapboxes uh, on either side of the, the argument. And so let's try to lead with love. Uh, our country needs that right now. But now I'm in gen pop again. Uh, I've been really busy and I got a lot of stuff accomplished and I got a lot of stuff done. And so that's what this video is about. This is the update of all the stuff I got accomplished. Look, I launched a podcast. We're three episodes in. I launched three websites, three websites. I taught a few of my kids how to computer program via Zoom. Yeah, been busy. And so although I've been neglecting this channel, I, this is my love. Like I had gotten so used to uploading every single week consistently. And now it's been like, I'm going to be honest, seven weeks since I've last uploaded. And um, so, yeah, I just dropped a video to say I'm back. I just had to put something out. Oh, also check me out on all my new projects. Not all my new projects, but check me out on my various new projects. Check me out on my new podcast. It's the What in the Word podcast. It's streaming on iTunes and Spotify and Google Podcast and uh, iHeartRadio and uh, Stitcher and a couple others. And also we have a YouTube channel. So if you're right here, you might as well just hop over, comment, like, subscribe. We're talking about like real today issues, how they relate to the Bible. It's me and my brother, Jay Baker. We've been talking about doing a podcast for like four years now. And this situation got us to a place where now we actually put it out and we're actually creating content. And so if you listen to podcasts while you work out or commute or any of that thing or any of those things, check us out. Long format conversations are off the chain. You won't want to miss it. Theologically sound, biblically sound. Uh, it's going to lace you up on game of how to live in our present day. Uh, secondarily, a lot of you guys love the long form content that I put out on my channel. If you like sermons, I have a, I have another spot for you. It's our church website. And so when the pandemic hit, we didn't have any streaming or any of that kind of stuff. And when we were asked to, uh, by the government to uh, not gather in groups bigger than, I think it was 25 at first and then it was whatever it was. And so we uh, started streaming at our church website and then we went from streaming to actually producing. Uh, and that's one of the things that's caught me, got me busy a little bit, producing sermons. It's a little different uh, than talking to actual people. I mean, like, preaching and being in the in the church and talking to my folks like that like I, I feel like like I get in the zone and I'm, I'm just going and so this is very methodical and and so that's been a challenge but the content's still good that's on our church website at Northeast Community Church link subscribe like check it out it's dope um and then also I've been doing cameos on my kids YouTube channels and so my daughter, the youngest, she's 19 now, she created Maya Rose and that's her like entertainment channel. We do funny little uh, challenges and I've been on it a couple of times and probably another video she wants me to shoot with her this week. And then my son started a gaming channel. He plays Call of Duty, but it's clean in the word duty. Check him out. Uh, Major Dynamite, if you got kids that are into gaming, check him out. It's dope. Uh, what else am I putting content out? Oh, asking for prayers. I started rewriting my book. Uh, I've been working on a book for a while. I stop. It gets overwhelming. School is out now. I'm not writing papers anymore. And so now I got this itch to write a little bit. And so book coming as well. And so a lot of content coming. Um, pray for me on that. What in the word podcast, Northeast community church, kids channel, this channel is about to drop a few videos that I already got in the works. So I'm back. Uh, anyway, I just want to update you guys on my little COVID story. And I was in solitary confinement and uh, the stuff that I've been doing and uh, really love and grateful for all the support and love I've gotten on the, oh, oh, in these videos over the years. And so get ready for more is coming.
I neglected you guys. I'm sorry. But now I'm back. And you know how it goes. Until next time, don't forget to know God, love others, and show it. Peace.